Hi there, busy bees. I'm Summer. And I'm Carolyn. And welcome to our kitchen. What do we want to talk about today? Um, yesterday we were talking about how um, in TV and videos, the way that um, making love or having sex is portrayed in movies. Okay, we're watching Jane the Virgin. I don't, I don't remember the storyline, but she was like finally going to, you know, have sex with her boyfriend, and then she's like, "Oh, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to, you know, it doesn't matter if I do it or not." Like, and then she decided not to do it because she was, you know, as per the title, wanting to stay a virgin. They're in the pool, and <laughs> and they have these very romantic moments. Yeah, and then, and then she's like, "Let's do it. Let's have sex." And I was like, oh. Like they really talk about sex as just sex and not, and that it doesn't make a difference. Um, and I guess part of that is probably like they don't want to give guys the power to say like, oh, it's going to bring us closer and it's going to do this. Like, like media has gotten away from sending that message. And now they're saying that it doesn't do anything, but it, it is actually a really deep connection that you have when you make love with somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, and I thought, I, I mean, I don't know if people have seen that episode of Jane the Virgin. There's a lot of talk about sex. There's not a lot of talk about making love or the difference. Yeah. I guess. So that whole intimacy, love connection, um, the sharing, and how that really actually does bring us closer. Yeah. There's a lot of emphasis on having sex. It's interesting because it's a telenovela, like they're teasing about telenovelas and like the whole romance soap opera. And I think a lot of people now are very cut off and protected while doing the very most intimate thing that you can do with somebody. In fact, now it's almost not intimate anymore. Mm -hmm. Like the way that, I mean, I don't know, like if we want to have a big chat about casual sex and everything, but um, making love to somebody when you really love somebody and you're trusting them and you're Completely opening. Open and vulnerable and completely present in the moment. Mm -hmm. It actually does make a difference. It's not just nothing. It doesn't change. Like, like they were saying, it doesn't change anything. It does. Yeah. You feel connected. Yeah. And in a relationship, you know, it, a couple that's not connected often stop making love or vice versa. If they get busy and stop making love, you know, that, that connection gets a little broken or weak. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which happens first or if, it, or if it's different for every couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, and even in the lesbian relationships, you know, they talk about the lesbian deathbed. Deathbed. I always say <laughs> yeah, death, me too. Bed death. It's or de maybe that is bed death. Is it bed I death or deathbed? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I always say it backwards, but anyway, it's the same idea that when you lose connection for whatever reason like Carolyn's saying busy or maybe some trust has been lost or you know even with us I think like when we get really busy um we're sick yeah like you know cold and then cold and like we're passing know. it back and forth so then actually this winter we made a decision like you know we were only we only just started kissing again and it's like wow it feels like almost a year because all like late fall and early winter or all winter actually there were so many germs and I mean we were quite lucky we we were able to fight off um, uh, a number of germs that we were potentially yeah it was like oh my throat's sore so I won't kiss you and then it was like her throat sore so she's not kissing me and yeah and that I mean, does we were work. kissing but it wasn't it wasn't an intimate kiss no and certainly not a passionate kiss yeah. either it was like mm, yeah mm, yeah <laughs> And sometimes I even was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like we're in Canada, right? So um, in the winter, from after things after Canadian Thanksgiving, so mid October ish, it starts getting really dark, and it doesn't start getting bright again until around March. 
So, and we had a particularly cold winter. It felt like a very long, long winter. It was very long. Yeah. That combined with being busy um, and, you know, like in the winter, it's hard. You're freezing cold all the time and I tend to be less happy, <laughs> you know. I think everyone's less happy in the winter. Well, I don't know about everyone, but yes, definitely the majority of people, I yeah. think. I don't like winter very much, especially here. What was our point again? We were just surprised at media and how they, yeah, they they downplay the connection of yeah. making love and how important it is. Mm -hmm. It's not just about physical pleasure. I think that's kind of the all, you know, it doesn't make a difference in a relationship if you do it or not. Like, it's... It, it, they talk about it like it's just a selfish thing of pleasure and mm -hmm. it is pleasurable but there's also a deep connection when you're you know completely present and vulnerable and mm -hmm. and wanting to share love and energy with the other person mm -hmm. like we've talked about how insects add you know they completely eliminate that part as well and right. you know we've I've said to my kids and we said it to other people recently <laughs> that, you know, like, they talk about the mechanics of sex and the reproductive system. And I know some schools are actively promoting abstinence, which I, I don't disagree with 100%, but I don't think abstinence is the end of the line. Like, we have to also educate about, you know, we know full well that many teenagers are deciding to be intimate with each other um, at a young age and I don't think telling them the only the only way to deal with this is to the only thing is to not have sex till you're li older sometimes we even have to schedule it kind of you know but that part all of that part and the mechanics of it it's not even really about the sex it's about the the intimacy and the openness, I think. Mm. And then, then suddenly your heart is open again. You're more, you're more willing to be generous with your partner again, to listen again, to be able to try again, you know, like, I mean, we didn't have any big falling out or anything, but just the time over the winter, you know, and you, you kind of lose contact with each other. Making love is important. Good. It's good stuff. Good for the mental health, good for the heart health, good for relationship health. Good for your physical health. It's a workout. Mm -hmm. Or it can be. <laughs> what do you want to do now? Let's go, Lesbo. <laughs> Comment, share, like, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts. Um, anything else, honey? Uh, if you have stories about, you know, how you talk to kids or explain, you know, making love versus sex, um, yeah, we'd be interested in. Like, I think we had the idea of what message we'd want to give, but you know, not really sure how to present it sometimes. And of course, you know, we're not suggesting that what we think and believe is what you need to think and believe, but uh, just sharing thoughts and ideas. Yeah. And we'd love to hear yours. Bye.